Okay, so good morning. Uh, so we have been revising the database and completed two classes, right? So during those two classes, I have I have covered some of the most important things uh, for examination, right? So let's take a quick uh, quick recap on uh, what we had. So we discussed about at the beginning we discussed about uh, some fundamental things about database, right? So which means we define the term database, types of databases. Right. Then a difference between manual and electronic. Right. Manual database and electronic database. Then we went to take when uh, we went on to take this one, right? Uh, database objects. So we have table, a query, form, report. After that, we introduce table. Okay. So in the table, we have field and also record. So we discussed about these two terms. Uh, we understood those two, right? And then uh, we discussed about keys. So we considered three keys, primary key, composite key or composite primary key and foreign key. Okay. So these are the things which we covered during the two lessons. Uh, one important thing to be taught, but I, I gave an introduction uh, in the previous class for that. Uh, what is it? This is a relationship, right? So I started. Okay, so I started to explain about relationship, but uh, could not be finished, right? Uh, but today we are not going to take or we are not going to continue that relationship. So straight away we can start the past papers because we have so many questions to be discussed. So up to now, this uh, doesn't have much influence in the past papers, right? So we can uh, take that later, but definitely I will explain. Maybe uh, I can spend half an hour for explaining such thing. But remember at this moment, remember relationship is a connection between two table, association between two table. I explained this one in the previous class. There are three types of relationships, one to one, one to many, many to many. Okay. So with these uh, things, we can start uh, discussing the paper, right? Past paper questions. All right. So please take that uh, tube, uh, right? So you have to, uh, I mean, you have to, con I mean, in the, on the line, uh, by referring those tutes. So tutes is important. So hope everyone has. Right. So let's discuss the MCQ first, right? So uh, once we, uh, we finish that, we can move to the second part. All right. So we can start from 2019 MCQ, right? It would be better to start from the recent past because uh, in the recent past, there, there are questions which are very close to our syllabus. But if you take the paper questions uh, which were in uh, 2007 or 2008, you know, there may be some differences because, you know, uh, there was uh, a different syllabus and also textbooks were not there. So, that may not be, uh, I mean, too closer to the present uh, curriculum or present syllabus. So it would be better to start from 2019 and go back. Okay, right. So have a look at the first question. Questions one to four are based on the following partly shown database tables that are used to store. I repeat it, questions one to four are based on the following partly shown database tables that are used to store data about books, students, and books reserved by students in a school library. Okay, 
So there are three uh, table for having three different data. So first table is for uh, storing book data. The second one is for storing students data, data about students. The third one is for uh, the data which are related to books reserved by students. Okay. Uh, look at the table, first table, book table. See, there is a description given in the bracket, contains the details of books and whether each book is reserved or not. So this may be an additional information to you. Actually, this can help you uh, in answering. Even without uh, giving this description, uh, question can be asked, but they have added this description in the bracket in order to help you, right? In order to give some additional meaning, okay? So it says that, the, it says about this reserved uh, field, right? So look here, contains the details of books and whether each, books, each book is reserved or not. So if it is true, which means it is reserved. If it is false, it is not reserved, okay? Right, so this has book details. Have a look at the second table, uh, which is student table. There also we have a description, contains the details of all students in school and whether each student uh, each student in is a library member or not okay so they are also look and you can see that library member true or false if it is true definitely that person is a member if it is false uh, he or she is not a member okay so this has students details finally you have another table uh, book reservation table so which has, look here, contains the details about books reserved by students. So this is very simple. You can see uh, the student ID, reserve date and book ID. So which clearly uh, indicates that, uh, it, it indicates the details about book reservation, right? So you can obtain uh, by looking at the first record, you can understand that student ID 1003 reserved a book be triple zero two on two three nine uh, 2019. So this shows reservation details. Okay. Right. So without further, I mean, further clarification, we can go to this first, uh, uh, I mean, question. Okay. How many fields are in the student table? It's too easy. You know about field and records, right? So how many fields are in the student table? Have a look at the student table. Uh, the second one, right? This is the student table. So how many fields, each column is a field, right? Student number is a field, student ID, sorry, student name, student ID, grade, library, member. So you have four fields. How many records here? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So five record also there, but record is not the, not the question. So it is about field, right? So four field. Second. One, so don't forget fields are columns, right? So second one. What would be an example of a foreign key in the database? Okay, so it's about foreign key. So since it is about foreign key, better identify the primary keys first, right? So don't check the answers right now. Check the primary keys first. Now after that, you can understand or you can identify the foreign key. Okay, look at the book table. So here uh, you have book ID, title, reserved. So in book ID, uh, book table, book ID can be taken as primary key because it must be unique. Ha have a look at the other fields which are in the book table. So they are title and reserve. So you know this B0001 never be repeated because that is given for effective writing book. So that never be repeated. So in book table, book ID is the primary key. I am checking the primary key because it would be Easy if you find the primary key before finding the uh, foreign key, right? So take a look at the second table. This is student table, student name there, ID, grade, library member. So here, uh, student ID should be the primary key because here you, you store on, only the student's data, right? So 1001 is given for PL, so which never be given to the others, right? And also PL, never be repeated. This number never be repeated. So in student table, it is student ID. Have a look at the reservation table. See, this student ID seems to be unique. So you may think that it is a primary key. No, because uh, as I often say, these are some uh, random or sample data. 
but don't think that these are the only three records here it may be hundreds right there may be hundreds of records possible so now you should check whether this student id is repeated or not suppose if a student id is repeated then definitely it is not a primary key look here 1003 which means a student who is it uh, is uh, ismail right so that ismail can uh, can reserve book many times because he is a student he can reserve the book several in several days so which means his number will be dupl uh, duplicated okay student id never be the primary key you know date never be because on a particular date there are many people many students who can reserve right and book id should be repeated here it seems to be unique but it must be repeated because a particular book can be reserved by several students in several days maybe on a sing on a single day only one student reserved but you know uh, if you take the whole scenario then there is a possibility for having or for reserving the book by many people so book id also has a duplication right so no fields have the eligibility for become as primary key so now you have to composite right Actually, the question is not the composite here, but better check it for your understanding, for your I mean, uh, knowledge. I try to check the composite here in uh, book table. Book ID is the primary key in student table. Student ID is the primary key, but here no primary key is found. So let's check the composite key. So now uh, what happens? Uh, I explained about uh, composite key earlier, right? So what happens if it is uh, okay, better uh, combine student ID and book ID together, right? So let's take uh, just an, uh, I mean, I mean, it's a guess, right? So pure guess. So I try to take student ID and book ID uh, as a combination for composite key. Is it correct? Can it be the composite key? Is it correct? Student ID plus book ID. Is it? Is it correct? Can it be the prime uh, composite key? That's uh, again. That's again. Student ID plus book ID. Is it the right combination for the composite key? Is it the composite key? Yes. Sir. Commission? No, sir. Why? What is the reason? Sir, why? if uh, the student can take the same book uh, in different dates, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, I think okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Right. Let, let me explain. I understood. Right. Look here. So student ID plus book ID cannot be uh, cannot be the composite key because look here. This is how you have to check. Take a look at the first record, first data, 1003, B, 1002. So just combine these two, 1003, B, triple zero two. So will it be repeated? Check base, I mean, use your knowledge, right? Will it be repeated? So if sub, suppose if they are repeated like this, 1003, here B, zero zero two, right? Sorry, triple zero two. Suppose if they are repeated, then definitely they cannot be composite key. But will it be repeated? Definitely repeated because that particular student, right, 1003, can receive the same book on another date, right? So here on uh, 2nd of March 2019, he reserved. But that same person can reserve the book on a different date. So it clearly means that student ID and book ID cannot be the composite key because they have the duplication. So now try composite in a different manner. Like, okay, let me composite uh, in this manner. Right. So now let's uh, composite this one. Uh, student ID and reserve date. These two. These two. Will it be the composite key? Student ID plus reserve date? Don't wait for the call, right? So you can answer. 
those who have the who know the answer can uh, can i mean uh, give the feedback can student id plus reserved uh, date uh, be the composite key surabini surabini no sir no sir induja no sir n abinesh abinesh n no sir okay right so it is no because these two look at the if, if i combine student id and reserved date together uh, your first data looks like this 1003 2 3 2019 the same data can be repeated because on on that particular date this student may reserve another book so in in the first record this student uh, uh, reserves b 0002 what happens if the same student uh, reserves another book on the same date so definitely you have to write the id again and date again same id same date definitely book id different but Uh, same uh, student id and same uh, date so again so you can say that these two never be the composite key so i'm checking i'm 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 checking every possible combination right so this is how you have to work out even in the exam so now it is not working right so even uh, look here if i now look try in this manner reserve date plus book id right what about this combination can it be the composite key subangi ah uh, yes sir rex harris rex harris yes sir Mm. Dilanga, Dilanga. Yes, sir. Right. Look. So this may be possible, or this is possible because look here. Uh, if I combine reserve date and book ID together, my first data would be this one. What is it? Uh, this date two three two thousand nineteen plus B triple zero two. So look here. This kind of a data. never be repeated because on that particular date right on that particular date this book has been reserved so how can we say that the same data be repeated or how can we how, how can we prove that no right you can't say that the same date maybe the date may be same right date can be repeated but the same book id never be repeated right so because on that particular date that book is reserved you cannot reserve the same book twice on the same day right right so it may be the composite key i'm taking some time in explaining composite key because it's too important right even though it is not asked here try understanding try writing such things on the tute then only you can refer later right so while while discussing the questions we have to discuss some of the background things also right okay right so now look here now we have identified all the primary keys right so now come to the foreign key so here in book table book id is the primary key so let's find out this book id in uh, other tables let's see whether any other table has this book id so check it so here it is minutes ago we checked that book id in this table is not the primary key it is it, it is a combination of uh, primary key not only book id uh, reserved date plus big id uh, sorry book id uh, is the composite key but now we have to check the, whether this book id is the primary key no right so in book table it is a primary key but here in reservation table it is not the primary key so definitely this is one of the foreign keys so what is it book underscore id in reservation table so it is mcq so there is no issue you can underline or you can put a tick mark 
but when it comes to second part right part 2 you need to write the name very carefully look at look at that there is an underscore 2 so book underscore id in reservation table this is one foreign key right in student table student id is the primary key we already confirmed let's see uh, let's check whether it is available in any other table okay look here that student id also available in reservation table but in reservation table it is not the primary key so student underscore id in reservation table is uh, one of the foreign keys so you have two foreign keys but since it's an mcq you have to pick the right answer so what is the answer uh, first one right book id in reservation table this one okay first answer third so try to i mean try to write the primary key foreign key and composite key on one side right then only you can i mean refer later second third question what is the title of the book reserved by kumar so nowadays such questions are asked even in the second part too so what is the title of the book reserved by kumar so now you have to find the kumar first you know uh, in in the reservation table because to find the answer for this uh, question the main table to be analyzed is reservation table because that is the table which has uh, details of reservation so definitely you have to check it but unfortunately this table doesn't have student name but in the question you have you are given student name right kumar so try go to the student table and find what uh, the student id so this is the student table here it is kumar is there what is his id 1002 now go back to the reservation table and check 1002 here it is right 1002 uh, here the book name right not book id book name so here 1002 reserved b 0001 there also no name available only book id so now you are you found that it is b 0001 go uh, further and check the book table because book table has all the details so b 0001 which is effective writing so what is the answer effective writing it's too easy isn't it so most of the questions are common even in the second part too third sorry fourth one last one a student gets a library membership and reserves a book what tables need to be updated for this purpose i repeat it a student gets a library membership and reserves a book what tables need to be updated for this purpose okay i want to find the answer from you right with the help of you so let me ask uh divanan divanan reservation table and student table which, uh, which what is the answer the second yeah, third answer. one right is it third 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 one aarti fourth one sorry i couldn't fourth one fourth one mm niroshiga fourth one fourth one okay let's check it uh what happens here a student gets a library membership and reserves a book okay so since that particular student gets the library membership uh right membership definitely there is a change occurred here because the name is not mentioned right a student okay so so definitely this table needs an updation because you know if it is a student definitely he or she is in the table student table but once he is a member he becomes as a member this field must be updated because look at look you can see true and false there so what does false mean that particular student is not the member take a look at sunil so sunil is not the member that's why it is false but sarath is true because he is a member so when a student become becomes as a member definitely this library member field updated so definitely student table needs an updation okay right and once he becomes as a member he immediately reserves a book have a look at that he reserves the book 
So when a book is reserved, definitely reservation table is updated, right? There is no argument, reservation table is updated. But don't forget, you can make this mistake, right? Even book table also updated because in the book table, once a book is reserved, look at that, that reserve detail is there. For example, if a student reserves uh, poem writing, now up, up to this moment, it is true, false, which means it is not reserved. But when a student reserves this book, right, definitely it has to be changed as true. Okay, so all the three tables need to be updated. You can make such careless mistakes. You must be very careful, right? Questions are very simple. Even for answering the third one and fourth one, you don't need to, I mean, have the subject knowledge. Think practically. No, your, your, your subject knowledge never help for answering such question. Maybe for first two, okay, you, you can use your knowledge. But these are common questions. So try, I mean, uh, understanding and very, um, I mean, carefully approach the questions. That is important, okay? So last answer is correct. Okay, so these are the questions uh, in 2019. So let's go back and take the 2018. Right, look at the first one. Uh, there's a description given, I will read, uh, read it out. Questions number one and two are based on the following book table used to keep records of books in a library. Okay, so there is a book table which has book details. Uh, so ISBN there, it's a number, right, given for book, uh, international standard book number. So, you know, books have such numbers. Book ID there, book name, publish ID, edition, right, look. What is a suitable field for the primary key? Uh, Harani, Harani. What's the answer? Suitable field for the primary key. Perujan? Book ID. Book ID. Vaishnavi? Book ID. Vaishnavi? Okay, look, uh, let's check whether book ID is correct or uh, not, right, look here, ISBN, generally ISBN seems to be a unique number, but here, look here, uh, these two books, IS, I, sorry, ICT for your life, uh, ICT for your life, same book, but different copies, right, maybe, in, you know, when it comes to a book, there may be multiple copies available in a library, so, uh, same ISBN number is given, but book ID is different. So you can't say that ISBN is primary key here because it has duplication, right? Book name definitely repeated, right? In a, in a particular name, there are so many books published, right? Publish ID definitely repeated because one publisher can publish many books, right? So it must be repeated, even edition, first edition, second edition repeated. So book ID is the primary key here because every book is given a unique ID. So that ID never be given to another book, right? So it must be the primary key. But again and again, I, I, I mean, focus on this one. Don't think that book ID or student ID or teacher ID is primary key everywhere. It, it depends on the circumstances. It depends on the remaining fields which that particular table has. So in this case, book ID is the primary key. Maybe in, in another book, another table, the same book ID cannot be the primary key. It depends on that situation, right? So here it can be the primary key. That's why I request you to check the remaining fields, right? Second, what is the suitable field for the foreign key? But look here, you are given only one table and asked to find the foreign key. Generally, when it comes to foreign key, you, you, you are given two tables. So you can check the two table, maybe three table and find it. But now you have only one table and you have been asked to find the foreign key. 
so you may think that it is uh, i mean wrong or that it is difficult but it is correct right you can be asked such things also okay let's understand okay before that i try to check uh, dharmiga dharmiga rukni repeat the answer book name book name ah uh, dharmida dharmida book id book id shromi shromi Umaruja Book ID Book ID Arabi Book ID Sobida Book ID Adityan publisher id publisher id uh, ganesha book id book id look see look here when a question is asked try checking try check i mean try using your knowledge you have some knowledge right on database so you you are not i mean requested to repeat your friends answers i don't want to i mean uh, get such answers so if if you say one answer try try i mean uh, understanding that you have to check whether it is it is okay or whether it is possible so now look here you you just mentioned that book id is the primary key here then how can you say that it is foreign key because the question is about foreign key right so in this table book id has been identified as primary key so since it is a primary key definitely it cannot be foreign key because you know foreign key should be uh, used for joining two tables so he, you you have a table here there may be another table but fortunately or unfortunately you don't have that table assume you have another table here so you need to connect these two table so definitely here you you have the primary key so that is book id so except that book id one of the four fields can become as the foreign key book id never be at the same time you must understand that particular foreign key should be the primary key in another table don't forget it here it must be the prior foreign key but at the same time it must be the primary key in another table those who mention book name so quite a lot i mean mention book name right so if you think that book name is the foreign key here it must be the primary key in another table is it possible right is it possible uh, book name because in this table why did they create this table it is for having book details so book details are saved in in this table so if you think that book name is the primary key in another table so what would it be what could be the table is the table for book is here so definitely book name never be it cannot be the primary key in another table right so now try checking i i i expected different answers but only one or two gave the answer publish id can be the primary key because sorry foreign key because in this table you know it it has the duplication right so it is not the primary key but remember so imagine you have another table called publisher table you know books are published by publishers right so assume that there is another table called publisher table that table may have fields just imagine uh, the fields which a, which a published publisher table has there may be a publisher id there may be publisher name there may be telephone numbers 
So now in that particular table, that publish ID can have unique data because every publisher has a unique number that never be repeated because that table has only publisher detail like publish ID, publisher name and telephone number. So their publish ID should be unique, but here it is not unique. So it must be publish ID. I expect such ideas, right? You must use your brain in that way. Then only it is meaningful study. Don't repeat the answer because your friend, I mean, uh, said such things. If it is okay, if it is a correct answer, it's right. But otherwise, don't repeat them, right? So he answer publish ID. Third question. Consider the following two tables named marks and subjects. So here you have marks table uh, with three fields, admission number, subject code marks. We have another table, subject table. They are subject code and subject name. Okay, so let's take the question. Which of the following statement is incorrect regarding the marks and uh, subject table? Okay, I give some time for getting the answer. Try spending some time and get the answer first. I give one minute, around one minute. Okay, look at the question. Uh, we have to check each and every option, right? Then only we can get the answer because it's about incorrect uh, statement. Look at the first one. Admission number and subject code in marks table is a composite key. Admission number and subject code in marks table is composite key. Okay, this is the marks table. So admission number and subject code is a composite key. So look here in marks table, uh, admission number is, uh, is duplicated, even subject code is duplicated. Uh, so definitely you can combine these two to get the uniqueness. So look here, this 111180, this data never be repeated. Am I correct? So this data never be repeated. because this table should save only a particular term marks or something, right? So definitely thousand, this one, 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 one can be repeated, but one, 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 80 never be repeated. So it is correct. Okay, first one is correct. Remember the question is incorrect statement. Second, admission number is a primary key in marks table. Have a look at the marks table, this one. Uh, admission number is the primary key. It is wrong because primary key should be unique, but here it is duplication. So this is wrong. This could be the answer, but later better we can check the remaining answers too. Subject code is a foreign key in marks table. Okay. So here there is no primary key, only composite key, admission number plus subject code. Have a look at the subject table. In subject table, we can say that the subject code is the primary key because in this table, you have only subject code and subject name. Every subject is given a spe special name, sorry, special ID. Uh, that is subject code that never be repeated. For ICT, 80 is given. Can 80 repeated? No, because if 80 repeated, then there is a subject name. You can't give 80 for another subject. At the same time, you can't write the ICT again, right? So subject code is the primary key. So in subject table, subject code is the primary key but the same field is available in marks table. But is it the primary key? No, right here, actually composite primary uh, key is there. So alone subject code is not the primary key. So in marks table, subject code is a foreign key. So this is also correct. Last one. There is one to, one to many relationship between subject table and marks table. I didn't revise this part uh, 
I mean, uh, in this re revision classes, but I explain or we, we studied such things at the time when we studied grade 10. So use your existing knowledge, one to many relationship. Yes, it has one to many relationship because you can see that here, this is subject table, here marks table, right? Look here, uh, this, uh, this particular student, Uh, wait one second. Right. Uh, what about this this statement? Okay. Tell tell me what is it? Is it correct or wrong? Tell the answer. I will explain. Uh, who is it? Uh, Krishnavi? Is it correct? Krishnavi? Kabilja? Kabilja? Yes, sir. Banija? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Right, look here. Uh, it is one to many relationship. There is a one to many relationship between subject table. This is a subject table and uh, this is the marks table. So if it is one to many, you know, in uh, when you have two table in one side, it must be one to one relationship in another side, it must be one to many relationship that is one to many. Right, look here. Uh, you have subject code here. Here you have subject code. Right. So don't forget in one side, it is one to many. In another side, it must be one to one. This is the nature of one to many relationship. Now I focus on subject code because subject code is the common field. We have a relationship between these two table. It is because of this subject code, right? So now try checking in this direction. Okay. I'm going from, or I'm starting from subject to marks, right? I write somewhere here, subject to marks. How to check? Check, they take every data and see how many times the data entered in the second table, right? I take a data in subject tables, okay, one data and see how many similar data is possible in marks table. Look here, 80, how many times 80 is there? Only once, okay. Take the second one, 33, how many times 33 entered there? Two times. So. A data in subject table, right? A data in subject table has two similar data in subject table, sorry, marks table, two similar data in marks table. What does it mean? It has many similar data. So in under marks, it must be many. Okay, I checked in this direction and found one to many, but it is not enough to make the conclusion. So now try going in the opposite direction. So you must start from subject code, right? Going from marks table to subject table, okay? First check, take the data, 80. I take a data in marks table, okay? I take a data in marks table, one data. How many times this 80 is there? Only one time, because it's a primary key, right? Don't forget subject code is primary key. 33, I take the data here, one data. How many times it is there? Only one time. I take the data again, one data. How many times it is there? One time. Look at the last one. I take a data in marks table. How many times it is in subject table? So a data in marks table or each data in marks table has only one similar data in subject table. So in one side, it is one to many. In the opposite side, it is one to one. So it simply means one to many relationship. Okay, the last one is correct.
if you have any confusions try studying those things which we learned earlier i try to revise this one also later but try understanding right so it is okay one to many so answer here second one na huh? right fourth one which of the following is correct regarding a database a collection of fields okay uh, let's get the answer with uh, from you anogen anogen third one sir third one i want uh, from one more angushana angushana first one sir first one so since you have different answers i want uh, from another one uh, who is it ashwini first one sir first one okay let's see so remember this is very important i explain i think i revised that also there is a connection or there is a relationship so there is a relationship between field record table database right so don't memorize try understanding so when fields are joined uh you know records uh or a record is built right when more than one fields are combined the record is created when many records are formed okay let's take a small table have a look at this table look here this is a student table admission number names uh, date of birth Right, look here. This table has three fields: admission number, ADNO, names, date of birth. Right. Look here. The first record is created. Look at the first record. This is the first record. Let's see how that record is created. So, how this record is formed? Ah, huh. it is formed as a combination of thousand one, right? Thousand one. Summon ten ten nineteen ninety five. So when these three data are joined, the first record is created. So now look here. What is it? Thousand one. What is it? It's a field. Summon. What is it? Another field, which means names, right? That's a field. Here it is the field. So early I told you that when we combine thousand one summon ten ten nineteen ninety five, the first record is created. So now use this word field instead of this thousand one because it's a field. So it's field. It is also field. It is also field. So when three fields are joined, you know record is uh, formed. So there is a connection between field and record, right? Where connection of or combination of fields makes a record. Okay, right. Now look here. You have three records. So now, as a whole, think about this. You have three record. So now, think about as a whole. So now, it seems to be a table, collection of records. Even if you have thousands of records, take all the thousands of records together. Imagine that now you you take all these records into consideration. So what would it be, or how it looks like? It must be a table. So collection of fields. is a record collection of records create a table or collection of records makes a table so if it is school you can't save all the data in one table because this table can have students data but how to save the payment data you can't save the payment data there so you need another table 
and also if you want to store the students i mean sports you need another table so to store all the data in a school you need multiple tables one table is is not sufficient so collection of all these tables is called database have you understood try understanding with the help of example right combination of fields is a record combination of records is a table combination of tables is a database or sometimes called relational database now go back and take the question the collection of fields makes a record it is correct collection of records makes a table it is correct the collection of tables may, makes a database that is also correct first answer right look again collection of fields make a record when you read this i mean the answer you must imagine the table right then only you can easily understand collection of records makes a table so if you if you if it's a table you know there should be thousands of records right so if you collect all these things definitely it's a table collection of tables is a database okay first one is the answer i don't want to check the remaining answers okay first one all right so 2018 let's go back to the 2017 right questions 1 to 4 are based on the following databases sorry database tables that are used to store student subject marks so you have three table student table is there for having students data date of birth name student number class there is a marks table for having student marks so you can see the subject codes there student numbers are there and marks the subject table has subject details subject code and subject name okay right look at the first one how many fields are in the subject table it's too easy right subject table how many fields here it is so you have two field subject code subject name right two field how many records are there this is the first record second third so three record but here the question is field so two field okay second what would be the most suitable field as the primary key for the student table so this is about student table what would be the uh, most suitable field it's very simple because you know date of birth never be name never be even class never be because here you have the duplication so it's simple you can understand but even though the class seems to be unique you can understand that class can be repeated because in a class there are many students have you understood but in in this particular example class has duplication so that's too easy but sometimes if they show unique data here don't think that class is the primary key because it is possible for duplication because at a class in a particular class there are many students so here student id is the primary key because that never be repeated okay so student number first answer third what would be an example for a foreign key in the database okay so since it's a foreign key we must identify the primary keys all the primary keys i have already identified the primary key in student table okay so we have found that student number is the primary key in student table Okay, let's check the subject table now. You can go back to the options later, right? Don't check the answers now. You can go later. Subject table. Here in subject table, every subject has a number. So you know this number never be repeated because single uh, has zero one as a code, right? So that never be given for another subject. So in subject table, subject code is the primary key. Okay, let's identify the marks table. in marks table subject code cannot be repeated you can see here subject code should be repeated because for a for a particular subject there are many students set right so definitely it is not the primary key even student number is repeated look at that 1001 is repeated because a particular student can sit for different exams here in this instance 1001 sits for 01 what is it singular and he also sits for 02 art so the duplicated marks never be so here in marks table no primary keys they should be composite okay let's identify the composite here the composite would be subject code and student number 
Look here, the first, have a look at the first data, 0, 1001. 1. Such data never be repeated because the meaning of this data is 1001, which means Sarath sits for Singhala and got 85 marks. So you can't say that Sarat sit for single and get another marks, right? That is not not the, not possible because it, it usually it, it it keeps a particular examination marks, maybe one term examination marks, right? So definitely subject code plus student number is the composite key. Okay. So we identified all the composite key and primary key. Now it's easy to identify the prime uh, foreign key. Right, so here in student table, student number is the primary key. Which of the other tables have a student number? Okay, here marks table has, right, look here. Is it a primary key in marks table? No, we already identified. So student number is the primary key in student table, but not a primary key in marks table. So definitely student number in marks table is one of the foreign keys. Okay, and also look here in subject table, subject code is the primary key. Which of the other table has subject code? Again, marks table has. Is subject code is the uh, is subject code primary key in marks table? No, right? So subject code is the primary key in subject table, but it is not the primary key in marks table. So subject code in marks table is one of the foreign keys. So you have foreign keys in, in same table, subject code in marks table, student number in marks table. And go back and check the options. What's the answer? Uh, subject code in marks table. Second answer, huh? subject code in marks table. Next. How many marks did Kabila obtain for English? Okay. How many marks did Kabila obtain for English? So which table has marks details, marks table, right? So definitely you have to check the marks table in order to get, get Kabila's English marks. But Kabila's name is not mentioned here. And also uh, English, uh, the subject name is not mentioned. Even the name of the student is not available in marks table, name of the subject also not available. So go to the student table and check uh, or, and, and check the student ID, right? So look look here, Kabila. So her name or his name is, sorry, number is 1003. Now come back to the marks table and 1003. Here, fortunately, you have only one, one time 1003 entered. So you can easily check that this marks definitely is English marks, but you know, when you have 1003 twice or thrice, definitely you must be very careful because you have been asked to find the English marks for Kapila, right? So since it is only 1003, only once 1003 is there, you can easily pick 70, but definitely you have to check the subject table also because we don't know the ID for English. So go and check the English ID, what is it? 03, now check the subject ID 03, this is Kapila. So he or she obtained 70 marks. Have you understood? So answer 70. Last one. Consider the following statements related to database software. A collection of fields related to one object is called record. We already discussed, right? Collection of fields, definitely a record. Definitely that must be related to a particular object. If it is a student table, the collection of record related to student, that is an object. If it is a book table, that collection of a field, which means a record is related to a book, that is an object. Okay, first one is correct. A collection of related table is called database, that is also correct. I clearly illustrated, right? A collection of related tables is, a, is called database, that is correct. A foreign key of one table is the primary key of another table. The foreign key of one table is the primary key of another table. That is also correct. Okay, so all these things are correct. All right, so we discussed uh, three years uh, today.
2019, 2018, and 17. I'm taking some time because you know uh, finishing the past paper is is important. At the same time, we, while we are doing, we should understand how far you learn the things. Right, uh, we can't say that we we I mean finish all the things. That is not the thing which I want. So I want you to understand the things. That's why I have already revised. So try try using your knowledge. So when a question is asked, try thinking. Right, I mean think twice before you give the answer. Okay. So with this, we can conclude today's I mean today's lessons, and uh, we will meet in another class. Okay. Thank you.